Hello everyone and welcome back to our continuation of the Let's Defend exercises. So today we're again going backwards in time to 2020. Uh, August 29th, 3.33 p.m. for a SOC 102 event ID 6 alert. Proxy suspicious URL detected. As per the normal, I'm going to go through and copy the information that's presented to us. And it looks like we have an IP address as a URL. So we'll take that before we take ownership. And we will dump that into VirusTotal. And we have... Apparently this is a well-known site slash IP for malware. Interestingly enough... Although it redirects to portmap.io. Free port forwarding solution, huh? Interesting. And if we go take a look at the reputation, look at that, Russian Federation. Well, it's not an email, so we're not so much worried about the poor email reputation from Talos. It is listed on spamhouse.org for the block list. Run through urlscan.io gives us definitely portmap.io. Does confirm Russian. Can't say that I ever heard about this thing before. Eh, something to take a look at afterwards, I guess. We take the IP address, we dump it into hybrid analysis, we get multiple hits. Can we go all the way back to August? Yes, we can. Now, granted, it's not like we have a... Um, hash or a file or anything else along those lines but this does give us enough of a indicator to see as to what kind of crap goes out with this and it definitely looks like a lot of badness uh, as per normal I will sit there and in the um, video description go through and record all these things uh, the URLs so everybody can kind of follow along as they do their own. Okay, um, so before we take this, this is going to be Susie Host. So give me another tab for log management. Give me another tab for email security or endpoint. So destination address. Interestingly enough, the IP. There's nothing in there that matches. Okay, how about everything that uh, Susie Host would have taken a look at? Really? Nothing, huh? Okay. Susie Host looks like it's already been quarantined in a previous exercise. Agent down. Agent down. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so some obvious badness there. Although, I, I have to say, it is rather interesting that... Wait, this is two different sets of data. Source address. Hmm. Okay, fine, let's switch this out and put the other one that's in there. But we still don't end up with anything... Ah, here we go. Go to... To go to a bigger section and we're looking for it starts with what was it 193 I don't see anything there is that like no oh, okay that's the only set of traffic that's there so all we have then is for October 
Oh, no, because then this splits off into other ones. Okay, well, I suppose it's fine. These are the wrong dates and time. For anything. That's 55. Okay, so this doesn't really give us much of anything. We go thread intel just to take a look. Give me 50 results per. 193. Nope. Okay, so nothing in there. And endpoint doesn't help us much. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this. I think we've got everything that we need. Let's just make sure I got user agent copied properly. Ending in 604.1, starting with Mozilla. Yep, okay. Let's go ahead and take ownership. And we'll go through and we'll do the playbook. What was the source address? Although, interestingly enough, I can't find anything that matches anything in there underneath the logs, but... Oh, let's see. What was the destination URL address? And then, because user agents have burned me before, Making sure to copy everything and move slower. Ends in 604.1. We go to the beginning and it is capital Mozilla. So that looks like that copied and pasted perfectly fine. Couldn't find anything in log management. Ah, oh, another big thing. I would say honestly, yes, it's going to be malicious considering the fact that it's on numerous, let's see, okay, big ones that we would potentially look for. Kaspersky doesn't like it. Fortinet doesn't like it. Sophos doesn't like it. They'd feel a little bit better if they were additional, but, I mean, some of these are large to medium-sized players in the AV market. Uh, there's enough of it. I would think to make that classification much less it's a indicator for all of these things that come back as higher threat scores although it really is interesting that you know nothing here or no indicators here that it's malicious so I guess the safe what is it uh, the Google safe browser that blacklist and whitelist that uh, it all checks must not have an issue with it. Well, I think for this particular thing, we've seen enough things that this looks like it's malicious. Let's see, so we're going to have a URL address and we're going to have an IP address. Requested URL. Uh, the IP address in question. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just mark it as a Russian IP. Was there any access to this URL? Well, you know, I would love to make a determination. The agent's down. And the sad thing is, we have absolutely nothing that translates through. So one more time. Source address. No matching records found for the supplied. Destination. Absolutely nothing. Given the fact that also the device action was blocked, I'm going to answer no. Since we don't have any logs to sit there and basically uh, say yes to any of this, really. I have no evidence that there was access since it was blocked. So we're going to mark this as a true positive. Attempt 
access port map.io via IP, and we will close the alert, and we will see what shakes out. So we go all the way down, and massive point boost. Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, so that handles the last of 2020. It looks like they released sometime. A uh, good amount of actual new events. So I guess I'm going to have to get back into the habit of uh, running through these, recording everything, and making videos for everybody. So I guess my short hiatus is over with well, which is fine so with that part being done i did also happen to come across um i think it's cyber defenders where they will give you access to a bunch of labs that you have to run on your own system uh, so you basically take the risk instead of having everything kind of self-contained all inside of a uh, web page. Uh, I figured I might start running through some of the low-level exercises there. I know that some of them are like traffic analysis using uh, PCAP. That might be something decent to run through. Um, looking at actual captures, everything else like that, as opposed to just looking at everything in the single pane of glass is what's provided by Let's Defend. Just as additional skill set work. Um, because if you end up with, uh, you know, an investigation that you're running and you can get a PCAP of everything, uh, you kind of need to know how to read through that to try to pick out the key pieces of information to have a better understanding of what exactly happened on the internal network. But, so look for those eventually here coming up. Um, with that, I will see everybody in the next video.